Okay, as you can see, I was just positioning the hanger rod up here on the top of the door. And this is one of the many ways that you can use this dryer. Okay, so grab the unit here. And again, pick it up by the handle. This is what we'll hang it up with right here. And since I know that I will be using this mainly and well, a lot of the time for when we're traveling for baseball tournaments, I'll go ahead and use a baseball jersey to demonstrate. So again, you open this up and find this black hook here. And when you put things on it, you wanna make sure that's balanced. So if you have one item, two or three items, try to spread them out. If you have something really long, like a dress or a skirt, fold or pants, fold it over on a hanger so that it's not you know, hanging down on the bottom of here because then it's not going to dry as well. And zip that up. So in the middle, we have the power. And on the left is a timer. You can set the timer for one to seven hours. And if you just push power and turn it on, it's going to go for eight hours and turn itself off. And it also has a light here. You have two speeds. You have a lower speed and a high speed. So this is low. And you can see it filling up with air as it's drying what's inside. And you turn on high. Let me go ahead and show and demonstrate what this looks like up here. So you can see the controls. There's the light and this is a timer. So again, one to seven hours for a timer. One hour, otherwise it'll just run completely for eight hours if you don't have the timer set. And how easy it is to just do this and, you know, change the setting, change everything. There we go. You just go ahead and end. It's turned off now.